Hey. Hi. How are ya? These are my siblings, and welcome to another video on Generation Untamed. You're weird. This week is food week. In celebration of making $20, we did what every teenager does and spent it all on tacos. Woohoo! <laughs> so today, we bought tacos from three different fast food restaurants, all of which I've never tried before. I don't know if you guys have. I've never had Taco Bell. You guys even live in America? So let's get started. I'm eating with heathens. First, <coughs> we have this crunchy taco. This is just a normal crunchy taco from Taco Bell. Definitely a taco. Jack Taco Bell. You're making tacos. Distinct lack of bells, though. There's times like these where I wish I wasn't a picky eater. You're gonna eat it. I know. The meat has this weird consistency, like it's so squishy that it's not meat. Oh yeah, the shell is soggy. That's crazy. <laughs> that was a huge bite. I think he's gonna be in a Taco Bell commercial after this. I don't know. The way I would describe it, it's like a ghost because I took a huge bite out of that. And like... You got I some of it? I'm sorry. I couldn't feel <laughs> some of it. So we all have our own rating systems. Maddie, you go first. Well, it was a taco. They didn't have breakfast when we went there. So I'm gonna have to go with the out of five Pokeballs. My rating system is British flags. And I give this taco two out of five British flags because it's soggy, obviously pre-made, and the meat is questionable. It's definitely the definition of a taco. So out of 10, I would probably give it an eight. So now we have a taco from Carl's Jr. It is a normal hard shell taco. It looks better than the other one. It does the meat look better than the other one. Whoa, know. that crunch. Good. Tom is a taco aficionado. It's so much better. Nah. Tastes kind of bland. It's not bad. Rating? Four out of five Pokeballs. <clears throat> because it would be five out of five. Except the shell is like this type of like pita chip. I give this one four out of five British flags because if I order a hard shell taco, I want crunchy. And this taco has it, plus it doesn't have tomatoes on it, and the meat just tastes slightly better. Well, because I go for 10s, out of 10 it would probably be a 5. It was good, but it didn't really explode with flavor, which is what the other 5 would have been. This is the third taco from Jack in the Box. They don't sell normal tacos at Jack in the Box, so this is a nacho taco. Visually, it gets like a zero. Yeah, dude. This looks it's like nasty. <laughs> it doesn't look as good as ghetto. the other tacos. It looks much better in the picture, I can tell you that right now. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, jalapeno pepper. Oh, that looked gross. You ate it. Is it beans? This is a problem we can't tell. Oh, and just as a disclaimer, I don't like nachos. If you don't like any food, Not do what Callum coma. says. Nachoma. <laughs> I'm sorry, viewer. So Callum's you fat on it? it, so we can't eat this taco anymore. I thought it was really gross. I gave it one out of five British flags because nacho cheese should never, ever, ever be on a taco. Definitely a zero out of five Pokeballs <laughs> from me because uh, that was hella nasty. Well, actually, I like the spiciness, so I'll give it a one out of 10. Callum likes spicy food! Let the world know! So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been our review of tacos. Overall, I really liked Carl's Jr. Taco better than Taco Bell's Taco. It's tippity top. Carl's Jr. So we are unanimous. Carl's Jr. is better than Taco Bell. If that's news to you, please give this video a thumbs up. If it's not, still thumbs it up. And yeah, still thumbs it up no matter subscribe. what. And subscribe. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, may the force be with you. And may you never eat tacos odds be from Jack in the Box. Oh my again. god. Just don't do it. <laughs>